to important uh, problem uh, 9.42 of Sontag. So the diagram of 9.42 is as follows. There's a pump. There's a steam generator. The steam is then fed into a turbine. The exhaust of the turbine is fed into a condenser. The condensed liquid is fed to a pump. So it is given that this state is 1, this state is 2, this state is 3, and this state is 4. Additionally, in the figure it is given that P1 equal to P4 equal to 20 megapascal and P2 equal to P3 equal to 20 kilopascal and it is given that T1 is equal to 700 degrees Celsius is given that T3 is equal to 40 degrees Celsius okay. so using this approximation we must find out the specific turbine work output the pump input enthalpy at the pump exit state the thermal efficiency of the cycle So all the turbine, the turbine and the pumps are assumed to be reversible and adiabatic. Okay. By now you should be able to tell what a reversible and adiabatic process is. If you guessed it is isentropic, then you are correct. If not, you need to study more. So state one is in a state of superheated steam. State one is at 20 megapascals and 700 degrees Celsius. Just to be sure, we can go to the property plot and we can see where the state point lies. So we go to steam, oh sorry, steam, and we draw the line. Ah, we don't need to draw a line. We go to TS diagram. Okay, we don't include any of this. Okay, let's include 20 megapascal. 20 megapascal. Okay, so 20 megapascal at 700 degrees Celsius is well within the superheated zone. So this is superheated. Okay, so this is my point number one. Let me draw it in a different color. This is point one. It is fed into a turbine because the turbine. the process 1 to 2 is a turbine process is expansion of steam and it is a reversible adiabatic if the process is reversible as gen is 0 if the process is adiabatic the process becomes additionally isentropic so this is isentropic so this process is isentropic we can draw it with a solid line and state 2 is like this so state 2 is at a pressure of 20 kilopascal so okay 20 megapascal is almost at the critical pressure okay, let me draw it with a different color so this line is 20 megapascal this line is 20 kilopascal okay after reaching point 2 it is condensed at cost so because such condensers are having pipes and we neglect the pressure losses in the pipes okay we neglect the pressure losses in the pipes so this will be the process two to three from state three the liquid is pumped to a high energy state at point four which is at the inlet of the
boiler the steam generator the steam generator is working at a pressure of 22 megapascal so this is a straight line because the pump is also reversible and adiabatic so 3 4 is isentropic because the pump is reversible plus adiabatic process looks like ok so to begin the analysis state 1 is at 20 mega Pascal 700 degrees Celsius state 2 will be at 20 kilo Pascal s2 is equal to s1 ok because s this 1 to 2 process is isentropic state 3 will be 20 kilo Pascal and 40 degree Celsius and correspondingly state 4 will be 20 mega Pascal S4 equal to S2 using this we should be able to find out all the states after finding out all the states we have to make use of the first laws and the second laws of thermodynamics so what is out what is the required okay why not the specific turbine work output the work output of a turbine so the turbine is a steady state steady flow is reversible plus adiabatic so 0 equal to so if you are dealing with specific quantities Q plus HI minus HE plus W minus W my, my mistake so Q is 0 because it is adiabatic so W equal to HI minus HE for the case of a turbine HI is at state 1 HE is at state 2 so HI minus HE becomes H1 minus H2 if you know the states we can find out the specific work of the turbine and so on so let's start writing down the various things that we have okay it's a it looks like a very complicated problem but in reality we just have to do more work to find out the solution so this is problem 9.42 it's a multi step cycle process in which we analyze each step T1 is equal to 700 P1 is equal to 20 mega Pascal P2 equal to 20 kilo Pascal P3 is equal to 20 kilo Pascal P4 is equal to 20 mega Pascal S2 is equal to S1 S1 equal to entropy of steam at T equal to T1 P equal to P1 ok T3 is equal to 40 degrees Celsius it is given S3 equal to entropy steam T equal to T3 P equal to P3 P4 is this S4 is equal to S3 we also so to find out the specific work output of the turbine it is W turbine is equal to H1 minus H2 so we need to write down the appropriate equation for the enthalpy let me just copy the state P942 Okay, so let's see what the specific work of the turbine is 
specific work of the turbine the work output is 1567 kilojoule okay so the turbine is able to generate an amount of work equal to 1567 kilojoule what is the pump work input and the enthalpy at the pump exit state the pump exit state is at 4 so what is the enthalpy So what is the pump specific work input if we neglect any changes in the kinetic and the potential energies? For the pump the work input is equal to H4 minus S3. I have appropriately compensated for the sign because the work input is required not the work. The work input will be negative but the work uh, so the work done will be negative but the, but the work input has to be reported as positive. So H4 minus S3, we have to define H3 first. Okay, so the work input to the pump is 20.05 kilojoule. The work is less than that of a steam that led out of the steam because this is working in a liquid region. Okay, let's see how we can plot this entire process on a TS diagram. So to plot it do we have all the entropies? We have the okay, let's TS okay we don't have states temperatures at states two and four. So two and four Let's do the property plot. We have to include this pressure and 20 kilopascal. Don't include all this thing. Okay, we have this. These are the isobars. Plot, overlay plot. The TS diagram, the x axis entropy, and this is temperature, red line. Okay, okay. What's going on? So in this figure it is clear that there is some kind of a mistake because state 3 is not on the ISO bar. let's see what the problem is this is the first state this is the second state so clearly the second state is at a pressure of 20 mega pascal 20 kilo pascal third state has to be at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. oh okay so the third point so this line is misleading in reality the third okay this is misleading because we have drawn a straight line connecting the states 2 and 3 but in reality the process has occurred along this line and it went into subcooled liquid okay so it moved along this line and went into the isobar for 20 kilopascal ok 
okay let's see if i can and after being subcooled the pump did a work which raised from 20 kilopascal to this guy it's not a lot of work done okay so i hope there is not a lot of complication because of this let me draw in the diagram what has transpired the values are a bit extreme so it started from here went to here now this is the isobar this is the isobar and so in the heat exchanger it went from the isobar along this line along this line to a subcooled liquid but since we plotted the points it joined these lines and it seemed like the process went from here to here but in reality it went along the isobar from right to left and went down because the isobar is pointing down after reaching this point from 20 kilopascal it went to 20 megapascal in an iso isent uh, isentropic process okay i hope there is no confusion arising because of this so 20 mega 20 megapascal is basically the critical pressure for water okay that is why everything was almost touching the dome the top of the dome okay if we look at the final solution this was almost reaching the top of the dome so once it goes here it is always hugging the saturated liquid line that is why this small process looked very very this this is the raise in the pressure so at such a entropy the change in pressure from 20 kilopascal to 20 megapascal leads to a temperature rise of only hardly 1 degree celsius okay so i hope this is clear